Hi everyone and um, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video it is Sunday so it is Pits and Peaks Day so if you are not familiar with this style of video I talk about things that didn't go so well this week being my pits for the week and things that went better this week being my peaks for the week so I guess we'll get straight into it with the pits so we can end on a high with the peaks so my first pit for this week has been that I have been awful at tracking this week uh, not so much during the day but like as soon as I get to late afternoon like dinner time I completely just forget to track my calories and I've been finding that when I've entered my dinner for the evening I have been over quite a few days this week uh, so that's not great, I need to be a bit more mindful and um, a bit more consistent with my tracking. So that's not been great this week. Um, so yeah, it has resulted in quite a few days over. Uh, let me just check my NutriTrek. Um, so according to this, I am four days over on my calories. I guess I can cancel one of those out because on one of the days I was 300 under. So I guess that sort of cancels one of them out. So I'm only technically three days over my calories, but still not great um, considering I wanted to have no off track days slash just the one off track day this week. Obviously I've been out. So I went to the Christmas markets on Friday. So that was going to be an off day anyway, but yeah, I could have handled things better. I would typically sort of uh, enter my food and things that I expected to eat at least my main meals like my breakfast lunch and dinner I usually have those usually all planned out and I put those in NutriTrek in the morning so that I can work around the rest of my cows for my snacks and things like that and just yeah I just didn't do that this week so yeah not great um the next one sorry I'm referring to my notes because I I have a brain like a sieve uh yeah i haven't the next pit is that i haven't started my training plan this week if you'll have seen my running update you will have known that i was supposed to start my training plan uh which was 14 weeks long until my race if you haven't seen the video yet i will link it i think it's up this side um but yeah i haven't started my training plan this week obviously i had my implant as most people would know if you've been watching my videos recently so it is still looking pretty nasty under there uh, but yeah because that was sort of a last minute appointment where they'd rung me on the Friday I'd already sort of done my running update and, and didn't expect to sort of have a week long interruption uh, typically having the implant replaced wouldn't be that long of an interruption but obviously because of the issues that I've been having with it giving me like stabbing pains and stuff like that that's only really started to go now so yeah it sort of put a scupper in the works with my training plan so I am going to have to remove one of the weeks somewhere in my training plan. I don't know whether that's going to be just week one that I just remove and move straight on to week two or whether I move like re remove a uh, week from later on in the plan maybe one of my long run um, weeks or something like that or one of the days where I drop my mileage a bit I will figure that out and when I do my next uh, update I will let you know um, so yeah that's been my next pit my third one for this week has been that I've actually been really stressed out and uh, lacking on sleep a lot which actually probably ties in with me making sort of bad choices this week uh, vlogmas has been very stressful I mean to you you're seeing the videos go out but if you've got my notifications on and things like that, you will see that some of the, some of the videos have been going out at like 3am UK time, which is not my usual upload time. I usually at least try and get it up for like 9 o'clock at night and that hasn't gone to plan at all. I've had so many tech issues with my Mac being really slow and not exporting properly or failed exports when the export has taken like an hour and a half for some of the videos so yeah it's been a sort of technical nightmare this week I am uh, pre-planning and pre-filming a bunch of videos that will go out next week so I'm going to use sort of the rest of today and tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow which will be Monday I'll usually be at work so I'm going to use tomorrow to sort of uh, film some more videos and things like that so hopefully it makes this week going forward a bit easier but yeah this week has just been a, 
a real shambles, really. Uh, so I guess we'll move on to the peaks next, I don't think I have any more pits to talk about. So my first one is, I've already touched on it, I got my implant sorted out, so hopefully that should reduce any issues with periods. Hopefully my periods stop completely like they did last time, which means that it shouldn't really interrupt my training or anything like that going forward. Um, but yeah, it's just been a bit of a bit of a mare with regards to the soreness. It would have been nice if it just sort of healed and it's still taking ages for this bruise to go. And obviously with a bruise that big, it's quite tender as well. So yeah, uh, not great, but at least it's done. So I don't have to sort of worry about that anymore. Uh, the next one is that I have at least done run, run this week. I did that today. So at least I've sort of come on here and said that I've at least got one run. I did a 5k, it didn't go as smoothly as planned just because the last sort of consistent run that I did was like midway through November. I did do a run on the, I think it was the 1st of December, it was only two miles. But yeah, because I've not run outside for quite a long while and I've been doing all my runs on the treadmill, it has made it that bit harder. So I did do 5k, so I'm pleased with that, but I did have to run walk some of it. Um, I'm not... I'm not displeased about that at all. I'm absolutely fine with having to run walk some of it just to sort of get back into things. Um, I'm just happy that I was able to still do a 5k. So yeah, I've at least done one run this week. Uh, so I'm happy about that. The uh, next peak, which I guess isn't really a peak, but I have finally filmed a run vlog. They are the videos that I enjoy doing the most. I'm able to sort of be a bit creative if you will with my angles and with trying to get the right music to go along with sort of uh, stepping in and out of clips and things like that when I do my run vlogs so I am going to look forward to enjoying editing that one hopefully it goes smoothly this week I think I've ironed out some of the issues with my Mac so I shouldn't have many issues with uh, stuff that I was dealing with last week so yeah I filmed a run vlog I know lots of people enjoy my run vlogs as well so hopefully keep an eye out for that um, but yeah that's pretty much it for this week so I will um, just briefly show my seven day nutri check view so you can see what that looks like so uh, as you can see I've got three X's for this week but I'm only classing as being three off days because one of the days I was uh, 300 calories under my calories so it counteracts at least one of the days but yeah I was spectacularly over calories on Friday uh, a thousand calories over but for the rest of the days I'm not too fussed about it because I think that around 2100-2200 is about my maintenance um, so yeah I don't think I've gone over my maintenance except for that probably one day so I'm not too worried about it but obviously it's not something that I want to be doing consistently going forward so for next week the plan is to do my three runs a week for my training plan so like I said when I do my update tomorrow for my run vlog I will tell you which day or which week I've decided to take out um, my tracking needs to be a bit better so I will make sure that all the meals for breakfast, lunch and dinner are planned in the morning and entered into NutriCheck so that any snacks that I have I'm able to see what buffer I've got with the rest of my leftover calories. That's the one thing that's really been kicking my ass this week so I want to do that. I think that's it, just yeah, training plan and making sure that I track my calories properly again. So that is it, it. so I'm going to wrap up the video here just before it gets to 10 minutes so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified of when my videos go live. Other than that, I hope you're all staying safe and well. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.